It's September 12th here. Um, we're getting ready to uh, bale hay again. We're actually baling foxtail, which some of you guys that uh, think that foxtail is a weed, well, it is, but it isn't. Uh, we can use that in the mushroom industry. You know, they compost it just like regular hay. It is a grass. Now, some mushroom farms won't take it, some of them will, but we're going to take it to one that will. Timothy is taking 8120, he's going to back it up into the building, but that's not what this video is about. The video is about corn, the corn behind me. Uh, we're getting pretty much to the point where it's in full dent here, and I would walk on in there. Yeah, let me walk on in here. I've got some late fall weeds and stuff coming in, but anyway, I just figured that, yeah, from inside the cornfield here, you might want to see what the, uh, God, he's noisy. Let's see what this corn is looking like. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm peeling it back now, and holy cow, can you see that? All right, so this is the ear. I'm not going to peel it off of there, but uh, it's a nice ear. All of them are like that. It's beautiful, full dent, good pollination. Actually, this one actually uh, went right to the tip, which kind of surprises me. I really kind of like to see a little bit left behind because that means there's room for improvement in this field. But as you can see, there's a skip down at the bottom. There's a space here, so that's why I did that. So let's go on over to this one. That's what I like to see. That. That means that we're at a full, you know, full production right there. So anyways, yeah, that's what the corn looks like. It's in full dent. Um, that looks like a sprout. Yes, it is. That's kind of weird. You're getting some sprouting at the, uh, at the tips here. That's kind of weird. But it probably happens from time to time, just I'm not used to it. Jesus, God, I'm trying to hold two cameras and my phone, and my goodness. Anyway, so that's what the corn looks like. It's really nice. Uh, drying down here. It's, it's in full den, as you can see. But it's going to start drying down, and, you know, within the month, well, in a month, I'll be picking corn. And you'll get lots of video of that, too. I got all my corn but one place. I got 50, no, not 50, 25 acres that's really pretty pretty lousy, only going to be about 70 bushels to the acre, but uh, that was because it was planted on wet ground, and the ground was maybe just a little too wet when we planted, and we just got rain after rain after rain, and it made such a root damage that it had, it just caused such root damage that I couldn't, it just couldn't, the corn couldn't uh, come out of it. So uh, we replanted a section of it, probably 90% of it we replanted, and even that didn't come around it's just crap so we'll see uh, that'll be up on video when we're harvesting as to the shittiest field that I have and uh, for the most part 99% of the corn that I have is beautiful soybeans raging ah, really raging the later planted beans just just coming on now I mean good pod sets uh, the other beans the ones I planted early them suckers are just they're here they're, they're like here above my to my chest beans from top to bottom no barren pods they're all three and four bean pods are beautiful but anyways I gotta hook up a baler so I can go bale hay and uh, yeah that's just my corn update thanks for watching